Welcome back to another Life of Tim video. You join me in the GTR. We're currently heading to Transtech with the GTR. It's going to Trucking Sounds. We are going to put a huge sound system in the car. Yep, it's going to Trucking Sounds. He does trucks mainly, but I think he's going to start doing cars as well. You see these two speakers here? Between the two rear seats, you're going to change them for two 10-inch subs, upgrade the door speakers. It's got a Bose sound system, but I've got to be honest, it sounds pants. We'll turn it up in a minute. Obviously, we can't have it on for too long because of copyright infringements, but we're going to have a huge sound system in the GTR. I'm not really 100% sure why we're doing this because I'm not, let's be face it, let's face it, I'm not going to be listening to the sound system. You want to be listening to that exhaust. Well, the exhaust, we'll talk about that more in a bit because she's booked in at Litchfield. She's booked in for a full, straight through valved exhaust gonna sound awesome i've also made a couple of other little purchases like blow off valves we're gonna fit them on the channel as well cannot wait to start transforming the car on the channel making it sound even more beastly than it does already i gotta be honest i can't believe i've got it out in the rain to take it to truck in sounds let's turn the radio up there's no bass or it's not great at all. There's no bass or anything. When I bought this car, I thought it would actually have an awesome sound system. With it being Bose and the two sub things in between the rear seats there, I really thought that this was going to be an awesome sound system. But it's not. So Ant said, I can change that. So that's what we're doing. We're taking it to trucking sounds. Soon to be truck and car sounds by the sounds of it. Shift. Oh, 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 bop, bop. I love it so much. Can't wait to get a bigger exhaust on this. Get a little bit more sound out of it. <laughs> oh, definitely the best car I've ever owned. 100%. It just doesn't fail to put a smile on your face. There we go. I never thought I'd be dropping my car off at Transtech, but we are. Oh my God. Where's all my boot space gone? You need base, not space. Helen was impressed with the boot space. She's not gonna not be any more, is she? <laughs> what are you even doing? What is that? Sound deadening, Tim. Sound deadening. Stop your panels resonating. Is it loud? Richard! Look, we haven't heard you. Oh. It's like, they're like a Lamborghini Huracan. That is what, a Lamborghini Huracan. Don't you mean a Nissan Micra? <laughs> Great. <gasps> oh my God. What have you done to my car? Where's my passenger seat? Uh, do you know what you're doing? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Oh, uh, so you've gone through the seat centres. <laughs> I thought he was trucking sounds. I've let him loosen my car. Well, mm. it's like a truck, isn't it? Is it? It's no longer Bose. We need to get rid of that. <clears throat> How do we get rid of that? I don't know. We can get rid of that. What have you had this up to, young Tim? 60. 60. No, 70, sorry. 70. On the dual carriageway. On the dual carriageway. Down the thorny dual carriageway. I have to say, I'm a little bit concerned. Do you want to talk through the speakers at all or not? Not really. Not really. <coughs> the speaker you said you wanted to expand and diversify. What do you want to know? Well, Thanks. tell me about them. These are Mr. Car Sounds. Hertz, Mille Legend. Mille Legends. Seven inch. <sighs> It's six and a half. Also, oh, I've gone up an inch from That's six to Helen seven. Said. That's what Helen said. Yep, great. What sub has it got? It's got a Hertz SPL Show 10 inch. Oof. Have I got one of them in my truck? No. Oh. <laughs> it's like heart surgery. Look, you've got this going up and down here. The noise is like right. a life support machine. Give it half an hour, my flat line. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <Wait>. Hertz <clears throat> Mille Legend. Are they any good or? Nah, oh, man, they're all right. <laughs> the only trouble is, ah, they don't fit. Just glue it in there or something. Like that. <laughs> I reckon you could bore that out. Get it in there. What else have we got? This is this mine. Amplifier, yeah. eight channel. 
Audison. Some bit of kit. <coughs> Forza. Forza Horizon. That's not an Xbox. It's all my GTR parts. Do you know it all goes back together? Or? How many clips did you break? So this is the Bose sound system, which I thought when I got the car would be really good, because you see that, but... <laughs> oh dear, it's really not. And that's the amp. Yeah. So this isn't going back in, this? No. No. But look out, look. The only place that needs to go in is the bin. Oh, no, I'm keeping it. What the hell, like, it's like paper. It is paper. Bose, is it like a gimmick? They just use Bose, uh, the name. I couldn't comment. Okay, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like to speculate. I'm gonna have all these fancy fuses in here. You know, the big fuse thing. Yeah. Am I? Or you just, no? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they usually have on installs, they have that like, big fuse, don't they? Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Okay, there will be a fuse, yeah. Oh, 10 amp. <laughs> Inline fuse. One of them glass see-through ones. I want one of them nice ones. You got any stock on the shelf? No. No. In my van. You got one in your van. So this is the wire you're using? Yeah. Four gauge. Stinger. I've been to their place. You have? Oh, yeah, that's all right. You have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I have. Yeah, no, that's yeah. all right. Yeah. Can I get on now? No, because you're doing content. This is what's paying your bill. So you all help each other. I'm providing you with work that you get paid for. And in turn for me to provide you with work. But I'm giving you all the service and the product. Have you spoke to Simon about this? Because oh. you know he's not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the door, it sounds more thuddy now. So I'm just going to open it again. Listen. So different, isn't it? Yeah. By the way, this has got a tracker and, okay? And I can see where it's going and how fast it's going. I'm getting some blow off valves for it. Some what? Blow off valves. Is that a dump valve? Yeah, like a dump valve. Blow off valve. They go here. Yeah. Did you do engine mods, Son? I used to back in the day. Right. Do you want some blow-off valves? Yeah. So when I let, go, let off the accelerator, it goes yeah. right, And So you sound like a 17-year-old in McDonald's car park? Yes. So you rejoin me at the old Trucker Tim HQ while well, Amp butchers the GTR. I really hope he knows what he's doing. That it should be finished by the end of this video, so stay tuned for the results. But I thought I'd come here to the old Trucker Tim HQ because I've seen a lot of comments saying, Tim, the old Trucker Tim HQ, you should keep it and have this place for the car channel. This channel, like the Tim channel. And it's got me thinking, do we keep, do we try and keep this place and have it just for the cars, for the life of Tim channel? And actually do what we were gonna do with the E92 M3 and put it up here, or put a car up here, not the E92 M3, because it's not here anymore. I got rid of it to get the GTR. But do we find another car for this channel and put it up here. I have handed my notice in at this place. I don't know if he's found anyone else yet. He may have already. But if he hasn't, let me know in the comments. Do we keep this for this channel and turn this into a car working shop or a car storage where I can keep my cars? Because I want to add some more cars to the collection on this channel. Keep growing it. Yeah, that's why I'll come over here and discuss that with you guys to see what you think. Let me know in the comments. Right, let's get back over to Ant. See how he's getting on. Back with car sounds. How are we getting on? I like that bonging noise anyway. Yeah, it's a good bong, right? Will that come through the sub when it's yeah. all hooked up, yeah? yeah? Are you doing a remap as well? This looks a bit, can I press something? Don't press anything. Can I not? Don't. Oh. What are you doing here then? It looks like you're doing a remap. That is. What so is this? Uh, it looks very technical. Set up the amplifiers. Mm. Why can I smell burning? I can smell burning. <laughs> I don't know if I'd like it. Oh, it won't open. There's no button under there. Is that? Don't work. But... No, neither does the one on the dash. No. Ruined it. Do you know why it don't open? You ain't going to believe this. I do know why it won't open. Oh, you do? Yeah. Why? You ain't going to believe me. All right, come on then. Right. The boot won't open. Yeah. Because it's got no glove box in it. Why well, won't it open because it ain't got no glove box in it? Have you found this out? Yeah, it took oh. about an hour. There's some sort of switch in the glove box to stop you opening the boot 
when you're going down the roads, like override switch or something. Oh, right. the glove box is out and unplugged, yeah. can't open the boot. Oh. Well, that's not technically true. That's the, that's what you got to do, get the so key out. So you're learning about these GTRs. Yeah, well, it's great. We'll get the key out. <laughs> yeah. Put it in the floor here. Hang on, I'm coming around for this. We'll get the key out. We'll put it in the floor. Right. Oh, it opens now. That was a little test for you. Oh, no, I didn't have a clue. I was a bit concerned for a minute. I was for about an hour. Now, <laughs> it's like, how am I going to get back in there? So if I can't, for any reason, get in the boot, yeah, you lift, that flap, lift up, that flap up and, use the, and use the key in there. And that's what opens the yep. boot in there. Yep. Oh, there we go. We're all learning on the channel, aren't we? Is this Life of Tim? Yes. I like that channel. L-O-T. It's one of my most favourite YouTube channels. <laughs> yeah, what's going on with it? Flat my battery. Make sure you don't put that on 24 volt, for God's sake. It only does 24 volt. Does it? Yeah. And uh, please be might, careful. This might not work. I just hope it does. No, it might not. 60 amps? Oh my God. Oh my God. These are renowned for their batteries. Look how small that battery is. It's only a 300, isn't it? No. What is it, 1.6? <gasps> ah, there we go. Go, Anthony! Woo! Woohoo! Yeah! Everyone is cold. Yeah, mixer, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're now on the phone yeah, got it. to the head of audio at Nissan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sub left is 100 and sub right is zero. Oh, right, yeah, no. 100 at the top and, yeah, I think it's 50-50, yeah. Look at these. Hang on, this, like, sub left, on the left, oh uh, yeah. It's like on the left one, just, just hundreds at the top, and then on the right one. It's very involved, this uh, audio malarkey. That is gonna kick. Look at the size of it. Did I need to use high level? Do I need to use seven and eight out? So is it ready now? We're we just putting it back together? Yeah. Won't be long. Won't be long and I can hear it. There is, what was that, a 10 inch? Yeah. 10 inch. Hertz. SPL show. Yes. We're starting to put everything back together. I feel a lot better when it's all back together, to be honest. <sighs> it looks a bit scary at the moment. It's only a car tip. Spevitz. That's my interior you're cutting up. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, I don't know if it is okay. Really? I don't room for the sub box. How much are they from this, Sam? Oh, probably quite a lot. That's oh, good. Is this in the car? Yeah. Polystyrene. Why is there polystyrene lightweight, in there? Lightweight. So that metal plate. We've got to make something to go here. Is that right, Ant? For these tweeter things to yeah. sit in up there. Yeah, on the pillars, yeah. Sound system expert glasses. Look at them. They suit me, actually. Why is there all, like, polystyrene in there? It's just packing. Packaging? It's like an unboxing video. That went on the back of your boot like that, and that's where the little grill was. Yeah, 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 yeah. This bit here overlaps the top, yep. right? Yeah, But this tucked below a little piece of metal, yep. which my box sits hard up against now. Not. <laughs> yeah, I know it is. It clicks and turns. Right. So you'll have a uh, bass control. Oh. Turn the bass up and down. Yeah, boy. Then you'll push it and you can select different um, programs that we program oh. into the DSP. Oh. Time alignment for the driver's seat or the passenger seat or centre or whatever. Okay. Whatever you want. Yeah, but. sounds complicated. I'll leave that to you. All the interior back in. Up to this point. A bit of wood across there. Do it black like this, so it's all hidden. You know earlier in the video I mentioned one of them nice fuses? I've got one. There. Look, there's two, one free champ. So these bits were just butchered from the interior of the GTR. I'm gonna sign them now. 
And then someone in the comment section can win these, so comment anything on this video. And I'm going to choose someone at random. Ant is the best. From the, comment. Yeah, yeah, comment that or something. Got a comment, Ant is the best. Oh, sorry. There's one. So two, there's going to be two winners of parts of my DTR. Leave a nice comment. Just doing bits. <gasps> yes! Got a bit of sound deadening, cut to shape. First bit of sound deadening I've ever done. Having not done sound deadening before, I was actually quite impressed with the job I did there. So I got to putting the boot lid lining back in now, 10 millimeter nut there to secure the pull down tab in. And then there's 13 little pushing clips to finish the job off. We're getting close now, Ant. Not far off now, bud. Get that in there, look. These tiny little speakers here are called tweeters. 270 pound for the pair. Ant raves about them. Let's see if they're as good as he makes out. I'll tell you what, that looks factory, doesn't it? Yeah. It actually does. Bong, bong. Um, oh, sorry. Now what you're measuring? I don't need anything else in you. Just measuring up. Setting up the time alignment. Mm. Getting it all tuned up. Yeah. This tuned up process takes a while, then. We're ready to go. This is my EQ control, DRC. Yeah. When it's in blue, yeah. then that's subwoofer control level. Yeah. Turns the sub up and down. Yeah. Got it. So you give it a press, it changes to yellow, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Right, you press it twice quickly, which is the middle button. Yeah. So get it back to flashing one again out. That's EQ'd and time aligned, right? Yeah. Preset two, which is the middle one, yeah. is EQ'd but no time alignment. There's I'll no EQ, no crossovers. All the speakers are crossed over slightly higher. That makes sense. Okay. Shut the door. <laughs> oh, we don't want this one. Very loud and crisp and very bassy. <laughs> So I'll take you for a ride. No. Why? I don't want to. You don't want to come for a ride? So before I go with my GTR, Becky Hill. What's the crack there? You know Matt Westy? Westy, yeah. Done his audio in his truck. <clears throat> following week, he's going through London. One of her songs pounded out of yeah, his truck. Becky Hill. Well, out of your sound system? Yes, out of my sound system. Yeah. And uh, Becky Hill was walking past, started yeah. shouting at him and videoing him and everything. There we go. Look I'll insert there. that now. She rejoined me anyway, back at home with the GTR. Just drove it home, gave it a little blast, gave the engine a blast and the sound system a blast. Absolutely awesome, blown away by how good it sounds. Literally, the Nissan R35 <laughs> GTR sound system is absolutely pants when it's stock. But this blows your head off, doesn't it, Leo? Mm -hmm. Leo's filming me. What did you think to the sound system? Uh, what do you think to it? Loud. Very loud. Did you like it, though? Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? He's not in his head lots. So yeah, I think the next video on the GTR might be induction kit, exhaust, and blow off valves. What do you think, Leo? Should we do that next? Mm -hmm. I think we need to do that. Give it a little bit more sound on the outside. We've got the sound on the inside. Let's get a little bit more sound on the outside. A little bit more induction noise, blow off valves. So when I let the throttle accelerate, it'll go. And I just want to end this video by giving Ant and Simon a massive shout out as well. Thank you for working so hard all this weekend. They're sorted, ready for the weekend. And also, 
I think Ant is going to start doing cars as well as trucks. So if you've got a car and it's got a rubbish sound system in it and you want a banging sound system, get in touch with Trucking Sounds, soon to be Truck and Car Sounds, I believe. So yeah, get in touch if you want a new upgraded sound system. Tell him you came from this video as well. He will sort you out. The work Ant and Simon have done on this is unreal. I mean, look at these speaker pods. How cool an OEM do they look? Don't they? They look like they should be part of the actual car. Good boy, good filming, Leo. You are very good at filming. I think I need to take you on, Leo, as my full-time cameraman. Mm -hmm. Come outside a minute. These speakers have been upgraded to seven inches behind there. They're now Hertz, not Bose. We're going to get some new stickers to put on there. If you open the boot, it looks completely stock. Nothing on show. Smaller boot, but a lot more bass. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications because the next video we're going to start tuning this beast up.